And excitement really is growing over the solar eclipse tomorrow. Lauren Brill joining us live in studio tonight with more on what you need to know if you'll be traveling for it. Well, Sheena, some are planning on driving up to northern New England to view the eclipse. Now, AAA says if you can leave tonight to avoid any traffic tomorrow morning. It's a rare event many have been waiting for. With the number of people that plan on traveling, uh, it could be uh, pretty spectacular on the roadways as well as uh, in the sky. The total solar eclipse expected to start just after 2 p.m. Monday and peak around 3.30 p.m. While we aren't in the path of total darkness, the best view here in Rhode Island is expected to be in the northern part of the state. Some may travel to areas like Vermont to get an even better view. AAA expects anywhere from half a million to a million people traveling to northern New England. Rivals like Thanksgiving and even Christmas in terms of the level of activity we've seen uh, in our travel business. With these potential record-breaking numbers, Shield Drop reminds us that there will be heavy traffic, especially because there's only a few major highways that lead to these rural areas. And this is not a trip you want to plan last minute. But the problem is, is that really there's no hotel rooms left. It's completely booked out. And all eyes will be on the sky, so be careful if you're driving during this time. If you're in an urban situation and you're in the car, uh, people are going to be very distracted. We're also concerned about people trying to film or take photos of the eclipse while they're driving, which is not a safe thing to do. When behind the wheel, put the sun visor down to block your view. And if it gets dark, keep your headlights on. Make sure you have certified safety glasses. Many local libraries are giving them out, but don't wear your eclipse glasses when you're behind the wheel. If you do find yourself stuck in traffic during the eclipse, don't pull over to the side of the highway. Find a local road for a safer viewing area. Now, if you're planning on staying local, there's plenty of viewing parties in the area. For a full list, head to WPRI.com. Live in studio, Lauren Brill, 12 News.